Of all the builds in Super Auto Pets, scaling is most definitely one of them. It's gotta be one of my favorites, it's just so satisfying, especially passive scaling when you just hit end turn, you let your dragonflies go off, you let your penguins cook, you know? You just watch all the visuals, listen to the sounds, and it's a lot of fun. Hope you enjoy, we got a few different twists on scaling for you. let's jump right in. Let's combine the ducks. <laughs> okay. Just a whole bunch of drawing. Jesus criminy, that's a lot of bunyips. Throwing a camel. Um. Do we sell the duck just for an extra one health on the camel? I don't think so. If we run it like this. Yeah, because then we can get another level up, and I think that's better, I would reckon. Okay. Fun yip, go to town. And we draw. We need to get some garlic on our camel. Is that tier 3? Yeah. Okay. Level me. We get an owl. Wouldn't be bad, though I kind of... Yeah, let's try it. Roll me. Maybe we can get something good with the owl. No. <laughs> Nothing at all? Sure. Do it like this. Give you a cupcake. Hopefully we don't lose here. Could be worse. Let's do it. That two health actually paid off. Thank you, Mr. Duck. Alright. I'm loving the camel here. I guess we might as well level you. Squirrel Whale Shark is interesting. I think right now we go here. Garlic on you. Hold you. Freeze the garlic to get discounted next turn. I definitely want to try a squirrel whale shark at some point. I'm not sure when. I don't know if it'll be today, but at some point we will. Alright. Good level, please. Another squirrel, huh? Is that good? I'm not convinced. <laughs> Maybe we ditch the squirrel in, in favor of a penguin, considering the team we have right here. You know, squirrel will happen, but maybe today ain't that day. Because this is definitely looking like a different kind of angle. Okay, Toad is kind of a pain. He's a little bit of a pain, I'd have to admit. Perfect. Another owl. Throw a penguin in the mix. Do we ever Nurikabe in place of the bunyip here? That might be the way to do it. You know, start planning early kind of idea. Yeah, I'll take the level here for sure. Blue whale's not for this kind of team. Alright, we'll send it. We're getting some some solid scaling going here. We have the exact same <laughs> camel. But our Nurikabe is better. Got him. Okay. I think at this point we mouse you. Because you're not going to be getting penguin buffs for a little bit. Sure. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Sure. Is garlic... Yeah, garlic is probably worth it on you. Ooh. Now our camel's superior. I'll love to see it. Dude. Nurikabe is literally a tank. 
He's so good. Go here, let's go here. Tell you. Keep getting you buffed up. Frogman is really just a tragedy in this weekly. <laughs> he has no business being here. Um, let's go here. Monkey's tempting, right? But the owls are so good. Not only is it a 2-2 buff on whoever you want, but you also get 2 gold. We gotta stick with him, I think. Going anti-snipes. Too bad we ain't sniping out here. Do this nerdy copy. <laughs> He's getting huge. It's incredible. I love it. I hope this never falls off. Just keep scaling at this rate. Cook it up until, until we get to 10 wins. Okay, we're gonna have to get a few duplicates here though, if that's gonna happen. Gotta get some levels going, you know. Well, that's just fantastic. <laughs> Could not have drawn it up better for ourselves. Okay, sell you. Keep cooking our Nurikabe. At this point we could consider Grizzly, but I think we gotta stay course here. And then we get a penguin and then we're done. Right? <laughs> That's just and now we're good. I mean I think this is just it, right? We're at seven wins. Just gotta see it to the end. I'm um, just kidding. That guy is enormous. <laughs> maybe we maybe we can't just cruise to the end here. Try to get our camel going now. These look so similar. Okay, what can we do here? Get you a chocolate. Sure. Keep chocolating you. Monkey's always tempting, but we gotta we gotta see the four squad through to the end. Oh, he's so close. Throw an orange in the mix. Of course, it hits you <laughs> every time. a whole lot here. Taco's not even that good. Yeah, we're actually finding a whole lot of nothing. I guess we freeze the orange here so that it can hit the mouse again. Maybe that's the play. <laughs> that's obviously the goal, right? You always want to hit the mouse. Alright, see, I feel like we're doing pretty well. Maybe we just had an off day, you know? Hey, don't hit the mouse, please. Thank you. Very nice of you. It's very important that our front unit doesn't get obliterated in one hit. I think we do it like this. Again, just keep hoping that the oranges don't hit the mouse. We're literally off by one on you. That hurts. Hey, okay, don't hit the mouse. Thank you. Actually getting quite lucky with that. Go here. Um, freeze you. If we can get the Nurikabe level three. I think that's better. Honestly, Stegosaurus might be a good slot in too. They got nothing on us. 
This is like a giant anti-snipe team here. <laughs> they can't do anything to us. Alright, well level 2 Stegosaurus is just the best way you could end turn or the 10th the win. That's huge. Alright, full send. Does it hit the penguin or does it hit the owl? The owl. That's unfortunate. But, I mean, look at their team. <laughs> They've got nothing. There's literally nothing. Alright. Sometimes, you just gotta scale it to the end here. It's nothing flashy, but it gets the job done. Let's try to greed. Get the balloon going. Run it like this. Can you throw you in here? No. Because if they have a moth up front, we want to have a three attack guy on him. Be some bubbly cucumbers. All right. Well, <laughs> couldn't have guessed it at all, you know. We'll throw you in. Obviously, not going to overwrite the balloon. Okay, hold on to you. Throw a moth in the mix, and then we're cooking. See how this does for us. That hurt a little bit, but we're okay. Thank you. And now we get the payoff. <laughs> plus one, plus one. That's an apple right there. Beautiful. Okay. And honestly, let's... We haven't really tried the ox here, have we? Maybe just goldfish? No, let's do the ox. Ox is fun. I'd rather get rid of Bunyip than try to scale him. Well. <laughs> Dude, there's just a whole bunch of garbage out here. Where are all the good pets hiding, you know? You ever wonder that? Where do they hide all of the good ones? Okay, good. That'll work. We're on the board. Dude, how many bunyips are you gonna offer me? Do I need to sell them? Is that... You think I want bunyips? No, it did not have an impact whatsoever. Maybe we just gotta throw out a bunch of homies. Throw you in, we can refresh our ferret next turn. Sentence that very few people have already- have probably spoken. Just gonna refresh the ferret. Oh, we're good. Okay. Thought we were losing that one for a second. And he lived with one health. Okay. Level me. It's gotta be a penguin here, right? We just go giant ferret. Is that, <laughs> is that really what we're doing here? Big ferret play. Maybe we do it as like a flex factor. Like we can make anything work, even the ferret. Rude. Dude, that's a lot of snipes. We gotta start scaling. Okay, we go here. Roll me. Definitely garlic on you. We don't want the balloon to hit the bat, right? The ox is pretty good. Maybe we do this. <laughs> we can refresh our ferret. Dude, I mean, maybe we are sticking out the ferret, you know? Maybe that's just the way to do it. You know, not gonna get too crazy with all these fancy schmancy homies. Just get a 50-50 ferret out there. Bring the balloon back. That is called consistent scaling right there. Way too late for a camel. He sniped my homie. A lot of ailments this week. Similar to last week, just without the phoenix. 
And similarly to last week, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not a fan. Uh, let's level, see what we get. Hmm. I mean, wolf is better than ox. Is hamster just better, better though? No, I think we do this. Kinda hedge our bets a little, right? We can even throw in a hawk. You know, like these two we're, we're focusing on here, but maybe the rest of them are also good to, to full send. That works. That'll get it done. Alright. I mean, the moth is cooking right now. Any shot we can find a monkey? Because that would just take this build to the moon. Or another ferret. I would also like another ferret if if we're if we're shooting our shot out here. Mm, no, thank you. Maybe we get a hamster. You know, ditch the hawk, throw a hamster in the mix. Dragonfly is actually pretty good here. Plus three, plus three, right there. There's our ferret. Okay. We're, we're missing one balloon, but that's okay. We're missing one turn on the balloon, I should say. Okay, we live with one. Ooh, no, no, no. We need a lot more scaling. Another ferret? Alright, well, I think the hamster is gonna go, but maybe not quite yet. Lionfish pairs really well with Moth. Okay. Alright. Good hits. Oh, now they're both level 3, so the Dragonfly isn't doing as much. Interesting. Could not have had a worse hit there. <laughs> Didn't bother killing the, the huge homie in front. With like two health. Okay. That's fine. Roll me. You're looking for basically just monkeys at this point. I mean, straight up. We could go hammerhead. I kind of like this though. This just feels good. Good hits. Uh -huh. He's got a big dragonfly in the back. So I haven't found any monkeys, unfortunately. Level you. I wouldn't mind doing this. Did the Stegosaurus not go off because the boar ailmented? Is that how that works? Because if so, that's very disappointing. <laughs> they should not have it work like that. It's not a perk, it's an ailment. Maybe it did go off and I just missed it. But if it didn't, I'm disappointed in you, Team Wood. <laughs> Ooh, level me. Alright. So now you're guaranteed to hit three again, so that's nice. Again, I'm, the ferret is kind of just there right now. I'm still not really convinced he's doing anything for us. But maybe that's okay, you know? <laughs> maybe it really is just that... The fact that we can do it is enough reason. Now we should... Probably put a taco. Oh wait, you're not. You're not held food. What am I doing? This is tricky. I think we garlic. If we chocolate you, dragonfly will maybe not hit the lionfish. 
but it is a lot more a lot more stats so I think for that reason we do it and just hope that we hit the 50 50 on the stegosaurus and the dragonfly okay we hit it beautiful could not have chalked it up better myself so there's our monkey <laughs> Let's see. You're giving 6-6. Six, six. Sometimes hitting the lionfish. Or you give 2-3. Definitely hitting the lionfish. It's hard to justify getting rid of a level 3 dragonfly for a level 1 monkey. So you definitely need a perk. That's for sure. I guess if we run it like this, right? Um, actually, we do this. So you're guaranteed to hit the lionfish, which instantly maxes him out. So it, it actually would be better to not hit the lionfish <laughs> with the dragonfly. I don't know, this is weird. Okay, just kidding. A new challenger has approached. If you overwrite a perk, it does work the way I thought it should, but then that means it's not guaranteed to hit the lionfish anymore. Dude, this is getting weird. I don't like it. Just try to get you leveled. We don't have to think about it anymore. I'd consider an orange. Pretzel's not bad either. Oh, he has a sloth. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you poor thing, you almost got to 10. I'm not proud of it. Even with the level 3 ferret badge and the level 3 moth badge, it still stings. 07, Merlin was here. Almost had it. It's solid. Not a bad start. Let's be some ajar puppies. Sure. Sure, sure. Ooh, baby. Give me that big old duck. <laughs> Ooh, off by one. What do we got? We doing an owl again? I mean, I'd be down to try it. We run it like this. Um, you're probably good. Want to do this? I'll actually do it like that. I want to get the owl buffing. Ooh, two level ups and a toy. Maybe we don't need the toy. Maybe we do. I'm not sure yet. Very rude. How is a bat always so good at aiming? I never understand. Alright, level you. Level you. Honestly, I'm glad we kept the ferret. Grab a balloon, grab an owl. That's the way we're doing it. I can put you up front, maybe? No. You'll just be our back, homie. <laughs> just hanging out over here. Does it still look pretty? You know the saying? The pretty little moth we got here. Okay. Garlic on you. Roll me. We dolphin. Yeah, I want to make a conscious effort to not, like, stick with a certain build for too long. Oh, 
have it backwards. I hate that the owl moves whenever it summons stuff. Such a pain. And now the balloon is going to hit the owl. Okay. We're down 1-1. One, one. That's unfortunate. Maybe we don't care about the ferret. Are there other tier 3s we care about more? Like the owl? Yeah, probably. <laughs> that might be good. I don't care about you two. Level me. There it is. I mean, high key. Axe handle's just better, right? You can go like this. Not saying we're keeping the axe handle long term, but at least for the immediate future, hang on to him. All right, let's go here. Roll me, dragonfly. Interesting. You do this. And now we desperately need to get this owl to level 3. Whatever it takes. That's pretty good. Okay. And we're good. We're just barely hanging in there, but that's all we need right now. Okay, so you two don't need the gingerbread. However, somebody else will. I want you two level two. I want you level three and I want a good level one. Maybe an old mouse? No, because the gingerbread doesn't work for the old mouse very well. Let's roll, see what we can find. Some sort of in-battle ability would be awesome. Nurikabe. I think that might cut it. Okay. We should probably sell you. <laughs> Alright, we go here. Alright, we can keep you. So the idea is the buffers are going to buff each other and the other homies. Get this little symbiotic rotation going here. Beautiful. And I think we'll be scaling quick enough that we can get away from all the homies. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we go here. Start spreading out a little. Ooh, that is huge. Okay, that's awesome. We're getting very close. I can see it. I can see our our future. That's fine. Not a problem. This is peak scaling right here. <laughs> All right. Come on, chocolate or owl, and I will be so happy. I'm not so happy. <laughs> no, this is good. There it is. All right, we're in a good spot. Starting next turn, the dragonfly gives six, six per turn. Penguin gives four, four. We're gonna be in a good spot. That's right. Scaling, not scaling, sniping can't take on our scaling right here. And this is like our our end game vibe here. We'll th probably throw in an ostrich at the end, but we don't need to right now. Let's look for dragonfly. Penguin's a little lackluster. I'd rather get a dragonfly cooking. Ooh, owl is stopping our pretzel from working. Ooh, that's perfect. 
Because we want Nurikabe to be 1.5 so that he has a level 2 in battle. That was like the whole point of grabbing him. <laughs> I think we should be good here. Garlic should get the job done. Beautiful. Good stuff. Okay, so we go here. And now we need a dragonfly. Come on. There it is. Okay. So now... Now we pivot into our final stages. So the team is done. This is the perfect team. In theory. <laughs> and now we look for... If, assuming we win this next round, we look for a final pet. That we can toss in, ignoring the summons on the owl. So we'll see what that looks like here. I'm not sure what it'll be. Still trying to decide on that. But this team is looking gnarly. Maybe a bear. Very, very possible that we toss a bear in here. Keep rolling. You know what? Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. So yeah, the bear's gonna start pulling some of the stats away, but that's all right. That's all right. Not a problem. Oh baby, that's the scaling team right there. Somebody in one of the comments told me about this gingerbread dragonfly strat, so that is not not my own, but it works very well, so thank you. That's awesome. I've never seen a dragonfly work this well. I'm glad it's working well. I love it. Hope y'all enjoy. I'll catch you in the next one. If you made it this far, odds are you're enjoying the content, and I've got great news for you. There's plenty more where that came from. Check out these videos here that YouTube thinks that you might enjoy, and I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one.